Good morning, grade three. Happy math. It's our last day of schooling at home, hopefully. So um, let's get to it. All right. First things first, who can tell me, how would you explain to your mom or your dad or your cousin or your brother or your sister, what is a fact family? I'll give you a hint. It's a group of, uh -huh, uh -huh, I'm hearing it, a group of related, oops, that doesn't say related, a group of related math equations, related math equations. So it's either addition and subtraction, or we'll learn that later you can do the same thing with multiplication and division. And when we say they're related, what we mean is that it's the same set of numbers, but you can turn it around to use the same numbers to make an addition, adjust the numbers, and you can use those same numbers to make a true subtraction equation. So what is a fact family? A set of related sentences, number sentences. So either a set of related addition and subtraction sentences or a set of related multiplication and division sentences or equations. Remember a number sentence is the same thing as an equation. All right, so guess what we're doing today in math? Math fact families for subtraction and um, addition. Now, the cool part is using fact families is one of the subtraction strategies actually. And that's why they're bringing it up. Now, we've already been using this strategy, so it's not new for us. And that is what's kind of cool. So you need a piece of scrap paper, or if you're using a boogie board, that's fine too. Piece of scrap paper or a boogie board. I'm going to give you three numbers. You are going to write me all the fact family equations, addition and subtraction, for those three numbers. Here we go. I've got five, eight, and 13. Now, I personally like to put it in a fact family triangle so that I can have my whole number in my two parts. So this is the first thing I would do on my scrap paper. Put your 13 at the top and your two part wheels at the bottom. And I sometimes think of it as a car. So the two wheels. All right, make me write out the fact family equations, please. I'm going to use the, what's here already and just go five plus eight equals 13. And what's the related addition fact? Remember grouping property or order property? Eight plus five equals 13. Okay. And what is the, what are the minus, the subtraction ones? Start at 13 and go this way. Oops, what am I doing? I am sure that you noticed that before I did. 13 subtract eight equals five. And 13 subtract five equals eight. All right. Now, what is true about addition that you can change the order of the numbers before the equal sign is not true about subtraction. You can't change the order of this because I'll write an equation and you tell me if this is true or not. Is it true that eight subtract 13 equals five? Can I change these two numbers around? No. So in that sense, it's not like addition. But let's go back to the fact family triangle. Whole number, part number, part number. Part number, part number, whole number. Part number, part number, whole number. You can switch around the parts. Now let's go to subtraction. Whole number, part number, part number. What parts can you switch around? The part numbers. The ones that are the parts of the whole, those are the ones that you can change and it doesn't change the answer. The answer will always be the other part. 
Yeah. So while in addition, you can change these two, in subtraction, you have to remember it's the two parts. So you can change the difference with the subtrahend because those are the two parts. And that's what's going on here. And that's really the only hard part of today's lesson. So I think that we're pretty much ready to go on. The only thing that I'm going to say is I'm going to write them. So this is motel. I'm going to write a subtraction. And you're going to write the, you're going to write an addition sentence that is a fact family for it. Because that's going to come up in our worksheet. All right. So here's my, uh, my subtraction sentence. 15 subtract 7. You need to write a fact family addition fact beside it. Go ahead, write it down on your scrap paper or your boogie board. Are you remembering that this is one from our drill? It's an almost double. If it looks like it's a big gap, just double your seven. Seven plus seven is 14. Oh. So seven plus hmm, is 15. All right. So which fact did you write down? Did you do seven plus eight equals 15 or eight plus seven equals 15? So either seven plus eight or eight plus seven? I think so, right? So therefore, 15 subtract seven equals eight. All right, let's do two more. Um, 11 subtract four. You write a fact family. So maybe you go 11 subtract four. Four plus what is 11? Maybe that's your strategy, right? So write it out. Four plus hmm, is 11. And what is it? I would count back seven. And so obviously you need to solve this one. 11 minus four is seven. And one more, just to make sure you get it. Let's do a subtraction fact. Um, 13 subtract nine, because that's scary. You write a related addition fact. That's a strategy. Nine plus what is 13? Nine plus something is 13. Oh, it's four. So then 13 subtract nine is four. Now, just a quick little review. Did you catch the trick that I was in showing you in yesterday's video? Anything subtract nine or plus nine? Watch this. What's nine plus four? 13, one plus three is four. So that works for all your subtract nines. Any number that's subtract nine and has a, a one in your tens column, and I should repeat, it has to be a one in your tens column. So this works for 19 subtract nine, 18 subtract nine, 17 subtract nine, 16 subtract nine, 15 subtract nine, turn on your light. 14, subtract 9, 13, subtract 9, 12, subtract 9, 11, subtract 9, and even 10, subtract 9. For all of these, the answer to a subtract 9 is add the two digits together. See these digits as um, just separate add-ins. So one plus nine, what is one plus nine? 10. So any subtract nine, if there's a one in the tens column, you just add the two digits of the minuend as if they were add-ins and you'll get your answer. So 18 subtract nine, well, you know the answer is nine because it's a double, but if you're ever stuck, just think of it as a plus sign there. One plus eight is nine. 17 subtract nine, well, you should know the answer is eight because it's an almost double, right? 17 is eight plus nine. Nine plus nine is 18, so nine plus eight is 17. Or 
just add a little plus sign there. Anything subtract nine, you can do this. One plus seven is eight. One plus six is seven. One plus five is six. One plus four is five. One plus three is four. One plus two is three. 11 subtract nine is two and 10 subtract nine is one. And of course, now you're all gonna be like, Mrs. DeVore, it's a pattern. Of course it's a pattern because this is counting down. So this is going to count down, but yes, it's a pattern. So that's a subtract nine trick that I just wanted to review with you because if you can remember that trick, you're gonna really enjoy yourself when we get to longer subtraction because whenever there's a subtract nine, we can get a little bit nervous. So that's a really cool subtract nine trick. All right, I think that we are ready for our worksheet. So let's pull it out of our books. It is page 61, Fact Families 3.3. Um, three decimal three would be the more proper way of saying that. All right, let's pull it up and get started. There we go. All right. So our sheet starts with fact families. We're in the Asian area of the zoo as two giant pandas and three Bactrian camels. Remember Bactrian, just like a can the bee has two bumps. Those are camels with two bumps. They tend to live in colder climates. So uh, Asia it is. All right. Uh, a fact family rearranges the three numbers. Whole part, part. See, you can imagine even... Um, uh, triangle there. So I'm going to put in my fact family triangle because you know I like that. So you can imagine that as your fact family triangle. Whole number, part number, part number. All right. You know what to do for number one. Complete each fact family. They're not giving you the three numbers, but they're giving you the first addition sentence. So you write the fact family related sentence, rearrange it. Then they've given you the first subtraction one for this one. Finish it up. Number two, you are completely on your own. If you get stuck, just draw yourself a quick triangle, put the whole number at the top and the two part numbers in each corner and you'll be fine. So if you get stuck, draw yourself a triangle that looks like my first one and not my last one. All right, push pause if you need time. I'm going to go on to number four. Use these numbers to write fact families. Same idea. Again, if you get stuck, make yourself a little fact family and microscopically put your little 12 up there and your five and your seven here. And maybe that will help you. I would use the same format. Always do first two addition, then two subtraction or two subtraction, then two addition, just to keep it organized. Again, if you get stuck, do your triangle, always make sure that the whole number, the one that's the answer to the two smaller numbers is at the top of your triangle. All right, let's go to number seven. Find the difference, write a related addition problem. Don't forget to solve the subtraction. I know that some of us are really good at forgetting that. And that takes us down to review, adding, that shouldn't be hard, but this here, number 20, and 21, that's a little bit like what we had yesterday. I made it a, a should, so that if you really don't understand it, you may skip it without feeling guilty. Um, but I can do it with you as well. 12, 13 minus eight, they're saying count up. When you get to 10, that's a good stopping spot to think because we can all get to 10. So from eight to 10 is how many hops? Eight, nine, 10, so that would be two hops. And now from 10 to 13, how many hops is that? 10 to 13, 10 11, 12, 13 is three. So what is 13 minus eight? Well, what is two hops and three hops more? Five. Honestly, I think it's faster to just count up, but that's my opinion here. This one, count up. I would do your bounce here or do our little trick. Anything subtract nine, add up the two digits. If it's I got a one in the tens column, six. So um, that's that. And then you can not worry about this because you've got a better strategy, in my opinion. All right, go at it. And um, if you're done your ELA and your spelling and your math facts, then you're done for the day. And I will see you on Monday. It's been great doing math with you, grade three. And I will see you when you get back.